What's up guys, I'm Seth Fighter and I'm going to show you how I rig my chatterbait. Favorites, uh, it's a half ounce jackhammer from Z-Man. This is Clearwater Shad, one of my favorite colors. Uh, first thing you do get them out of the package, they come with a little hook protector. I'll cut that off. And then uh, I trim my skirts quite a bit. Um, I think that's pretty key to getting that erratic action out of them. You get a lot of drag off of that skirt. And everyone's different. These things are almost like crankbaits where everyone runs a little bit different. But for starters, I'm going to take that skirt, fold it upside down, get all the strands nice and tight, and I'm going to cut them off even with the end of the blade. So basically taking a half inch off of it, but from backwards. So it kind of makes the top of that flare out a little bit, gives it a you know a little bit more action in the skirt. And my preferred trailer is a, a Z-Man Razor, um, but I like any any sort of straight tail trailer, whether it's a fluke style bait or um, one of these, just something that has basically no action by itself. Take that rigger up on here. Just kind of line her up. Just want to make sure you get everything good and straight on there. And like I was saying before, the uh, chatter baits are a lot like a hard bait, real similar to a crank bait. Um, each one's a little bit different. They all run a little bit different. I mean, they all run straight. Some are just more erratic than others. So one thing I'll do after I get it all rigged up, I'll make a lot of short casts next to the boat. And basically the less skirt I have in there, the more erratic the bait's going to be. Some of them with a full skirt will hunt all around crazy. Some of them you got to trim down, but I'll take that, make a cast, you know, 10 feet from the boat on the surface, reel it in, see what it does. If it's just coming in straight, I'll just start, you know, taking maybe five strands of skirt out of time and uh, keep doing that till I get the amount of uh, erratic action that I'm looking for. And sometimes you don't want all that crazy stuff, but it, definitely in the warmer weather months, it seems like a bait that hunts around a lot, triggers a lot more bites. So um, that, that'd be my starting point right out of the package, that skirt trim, that trailer. And then from there, I'm gonna keep taking strands of skirt out, kind of evenly all around it. You don't want to take them all out of one chunk, but a couple strands here, a couple strands there. And, work it down till you really get a lot of er erraticness out of your bait and that's how I rig my chatterbait. bait.